Welcome to our course preview at the course in Cocoyoc, Mexico, that they'll be playing for the biggest tournament in Mexico, the Abierto Cocoyoc, this weekend. Be sure to watch for coverage coming out on the Dynamic Disc channel soon. Uh, we're here to give you a course preview. I'm Danny Lindahl from Team Dynamic Discs. This is Paige Shu from Team Dynamic Discs, and this is Beto Gonzalez from Team Westside Discs. And we're just gonna play the course and show you what to expect. It's at the Country Club here at Campestre. Um, so it'll, uh, it's got a lot of OB, a lot of, uh, the golf greens are OB, and there's some bunkers that are the sand traps. But uh, it's a fun course. We played it this morning, so uh, let's jump into it. Hole one is 312 feet. It's uh, got a mando to the right, and there's an OB golf green and a bunker. So for most players, it's probably gonna be a, a somewhat stable mid-range or fairway driver just down the gap. You wanna miss long and left. That's where the safety is. All right, I'm ready. Oh, oh my goodness. Jeez. Do we even have to throw? That's the perfect shot. <laughs> Nicely done. Thank so, you. All right, you gotta follow that up. Go ahead. Wow. We have to, actually? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Oh no! Throw another one! Oh no! Did I miss it too? Yeah, that's fine. Ooh, oh, ace perfect. it! In the bunker. Oh. Oh. That's what I did this morning too! Uh, so I threw in the bunker obviously because I wanted to demonstrate. Hey, it's that easy. Let's go! Oh gosh, fire ants. <laughs> Park job, good shot. Gracias. Why do you take your hat off to throw? I just feel like it's gonna fly off. All right, we're on hole two. It is 374 feet. It's kind of a left to right shot. You got this big tree that you gotta avoid. Um, and you have an OB green just short and then a bunker to the left. So you really gotta make sure you get the carry. The mistake is to be long, but it is a pretty gettable birdie. So we'll see what happens. Hold it. Oh yeah. <sighs> I'm just going Maverick, but this one's kind of stable. Heads up! Four! Heads up! Four! Sorry! Jam. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> All right, if I miss this, I'm gonna cut it out of the video right Hole three is 363 feet, par three, pretty much just straight that way. The golf green short as OB and the bunker like usual, but probably shouldn't come into play because those are only about 300 feet off the tee. So I'm just going with an evader, just on a hyzer. Oh, if that has the distance. That's putting. Nice. Oh, you going mid-range here? Yeah. Okay. Stable for a bounty. Yeah. Elevation. <laughs> <laughs> flip. Come on, flip. Oh, no. Go. I'm still putting, I think. I did in Little Rock. I was mid ranges and putters. Whoa, that's a lot of Annie. Go, go. Swing, come on back. That's perfect. That's actually not that bad. But that's a great shot, yeah. <laughs> Stay up. Oh, oh, good one. Caged run. it. Am I outside? Uh, yes. You think so? Yeah, barely. I'm not going to jump anyway. <laughs> oh, nope. I should have jumped. <laughs> All right, so we're on hole four, which is a 284 foot par three. It's an island. The island is about 40 feet from the basket every way. Um, and if you miss the island, come up short, maybe go too long. There is a drop zone that's about a 45, 50 footer. So you can save your par, um, but you really want to make the island and get that birdie. Fusion judge. Fudge, if you will. Mmm, that's some tasty left, fudge. Left. Ooh, juicy fudge. Yeah. Is fudge supposed to be juicy? <laughs> Great <laughs> shot, Paige. Great shot. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Got that maiden? Yeah, we have the maiden. Is it VIP or VIP X? VIP. Oh, they haven't made X, have they? I don't know. So smooth. Yeah, you have a really smooth throw. Nice. He's so thrown this hole a couple great. of times. Woo! Jim. So hole five is 359 feet. 
OB golf green in between us and the basket, but it's pretty short, so you probably shouldn't worry about that. There is an OB line left and to the right, so uh, it's either like a forehand or a maverick kind of turnover floaty guy. Um, but yeah, the basket is weird because like there's nothing around it, so it feels like all the putts are really long. I don't know if that's just a me thing because I learned how to play in the woods, but yeah, it's, <laughs> it's tricky to putt on a wide open basket for some reason. Oh, that's so bad. That's perfect. Maybe not. Maybe it'll finish. Are you going to ace it? Ace it. Oh, it's too far. Oh, my bad. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that's just the line yeah. I threw. Yeah. Oh, nice. Danny line. Hey. Yeah. Oh. That's not fun. Yeah, the Danny line. Yeah. Oh, no. Ah. Redo. Yeah, <laughs> Damn. I thought leaving my disc in there would throw you off. <laughs> All right, we are on hole six. It is a par four, 464 feet. There are two ways to kind of attack this hole. So there's an OB line here on the left. However, it cuts to a 90 degree angle to the left. So if you want to go big Anheuser, you can go big Anheuser and risk it going for the Eagle because it is a par four. Or you can throw the straight shot down here, land just short of that green in that bunker. Those do come into play kind of quick. So if you are playing the safe line, you still got to contend with a little bit of out of bounds. And then you can pitch up over to the basket that's up on the hill. There are a lot of brutal rollaways on this hole. So on the approach, you want to make sure you're landing your disc flat and close to the basket. Are you going flex at it? I'm gonna try. But probably in the tournament, I'll probably play safe. I guess it's like 350. Yeah. 350, okay. That sounds, that sounds right. Nah. <laughs> that's low, go, go, go! Yeah, that's not it. Okay. That's it. Go, go. Oh, fade it out. Oh, Ooh. Good shot. What is that? Greater. Nice. Again, let me be here and work from home. Both. Okay. You get to work from home. Nice. 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 Oh my gosh. <laughs> Trick shots. Uh, hole seven, 410 foot par three. The basket is on the other side of that golf green, so the play is probably gonna be an Anheuser. There might be something like sneaky straight you could do, um, but I'm just gonna go Maverick at it. It's downhill, usually I don't throw a Maverick that far, but the downhill should help it get it there. <laughs> usually one or the Oh other. no, that's very OB. That is so far OB. Oh no, with the fall. Can you Kevin Jones ace? Nope. <laughs> no. Oh, get up. Oh. Hey! Yeah. Let's go. Oh my goodness. All right, we are on hole eight. It's a 310 foot par three. Um, it's pretty straightforward, dead straight. There is an OB line on the right, so if you turn your disc over too much, it kind of comes into play. There is a green that's just short of the basket and a bunker up to the right, so you want to make sure you get the distance, but it's going to be pretty straightforward, and we should be able to get a birdie. Good. Ooh. Hold it. Clean, uh, yeah. What is that? Uh, I don't feel good. Uh, Lucidex Maverick. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even mention the OB left. Oh! Saved by the net, okay. Solid. Oh, that was good. <laughs> Thank you. We're running out of daylight, so I'm gonna go really fast on hole nine, but we're about to jump to hole 10, which we shot before, so that's gonna be a shocking change. Anyways, this one's about 300 feet. There's a uh, bunker short, or golf green short that's OB. There's an OB line kind of close around the back, and you can't see the basket, but it's just on the other side of the green, so I'm gonna throw a putter. That's straight at the tree, isn't it? Cool. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, that was not good. That tree. Okay. A maiden again? Yeah. Are, are you using a maiden so that it's made in? Yeah. The basket? Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh, that one <laughs> I don't know, you're safe. It's a jumper. Can't see the basket. Me neither. Yeah, it's gonna be really okay, bright in like fine. the next clip though. I can't tell if that was close or not, but you can see how small the green so is. I know it's so dark. Maybe. Where did Probably my disc not. go? My near it. Kicking off the back nine, hole 10 is 291 feet. There's kind of a low ceiling with the mandos going to the right. So it's either like a forehand that goes kind of straight or just like a hyzer flip backhand. It's really cool because this feels like a wooded hole on a very open course. So I'm probably just going to go a truth kind of hyzer flip at it. Let's see how that goes. Oh, I forgot to say this has the same OBs as hole one. So the golf green and the, the bunker. Or is that a disc golf car or a baby stroller? Baby. I won't mm, throw baby. Huh? I was going to throw if it was just a disc golf car. Like, they can move, but babies. <laughs> The poor baby. Actively not oh. trying to hit babies. I want on the record. Is he holding the baby? Oh, the baby. Oh, that needs to get up. Ooh, All right. Work. You ever seen anybody go forehand at this Stay one? Up. I was going forehand, but I thought I had. Oh, yeah. for two on inbounds. That's what you get for parking home. <laughs> Oh, fight through. Oh, right with me in the bunker. All right. Mm. If only it was that easy. All right. All right, now we are in hole 11. This is a par four, 440 feet. Um, we have a mando to the right of this tree that's off to the left of the tee pad. It's pretty tunnely. You got a, a kind of a low ceiling. You got trees on the left or right. You really want to push something straight. Most people are going to be laying up before an OB green, which is pretty short of the basket. Um, and then kind of pitch up over and get your easy birdie. But if you do, are, if you are feeling juicy and you think you can reach it, you can try going over the green and have an eagle look. But most people are going to be going for the three. Just laying up with a claymore? Yes. Oh no. Woo! Woo! All right. Okay. I forgot that those bushes are OB. Yeah. All those, those bushy bushes, they call them Chewbacca's. Uh, Cause they look like, uh, uh, they're all OB apparently. I never heard of laying up. I'm going for the Raider. All right. Also, I'm not actually playing in the tournament, so I don't have to worry about it. Oh, that cleared it, but it's not close to the basket. So like there's risk reward, that was all of the risk, but none of the reward. Oh my gosh. There it is. Playing up, what was that? Trust. Trust. A lot of people don't throw I'm feeling juicy, so. Juicy. Let's see. Oh. Uh, oh. Not go, on the go, 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 go. Oh. Yes. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> That wasn't gonna make it over, so that's good. <laughs> Smooth pull. Stick. Nice. Great shot. That's a really smooth flick. Thank you. Like there's no wobble on that at all. Thank you. So I was, I'm even with the green. So if I'd thrown it straight, definitely would be OB. Good approach. Ooh, nice bow shield. Have a smooth putt. Sweet. It's a good birdie. A hole around 12. Hole 12 is 284 feet. Um, again, that OB line right by the basket isn't in play for us, but the golf green is OB and the uh, bunker is a bunker. Um, so I'm just going to go culprit here. Just pretty flat, let it fade. Oh no! That's safe. Too wide. Skip. Yep. Huh? I didn't think it would fade that much. All right. Oh gosh. Every okay. shot, just elevation, I guess. <laughs> Good shot. It's because of the elevation. Bad shot, elevation. What you got, Paige? Verdict. Lucid verdict. Ooh, the anti-flex. Yeah. Go, go, go. Oh yeah. Oh. Great shot. Thank you. Yeah, is that one beat up? Very beat up. I had it for like a 
good disc to have, a beat up verdict. Oh yeah. What you got here? Amazing. Oh, did that flip too much? I like that oh. putter play. Let me try. Just dead straight. Oh, what? Is that there? Man, oh isn't Oh my gosh. That? Wow. Oh, that was really bad. Sorry, your judge is parked. Wait, how does your judge go farther than your verdict? No sé. <laughs> the Calvin Heimberg. <laughs> <laughs> Don't need no chains. I'll take it. It literally like went, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are on hole 13. It is 383 feet. It's a par three. Um, it's the same basket as that island that we played on hole four. However, the island does not come in play. So um, just short of the basket is a golf green that you're really trying to avoid. There's a mando to the right of this tree on the left you can see right there. And the shot shape is a little bit, you wanna push straight or maybe move a little right and finish left. It's pretty much a right to left shot. Um, most of us are probably gonna be using some kind of drivers just to get there and give ourselves a putt. No, I'm with a Raider. Oh, that's a Raider, I thought it was. Oh, is that, that pink disc has been a Raider this whole time, okay. Yes. <laughs> Up. Oh, that's left. Oh, yeah, the basket's more left than I thought. What you got, Beto? I was throwing a bear here, but somebody convinced me to do something stupid, and I was stuck in the tree. <laughs> oh, so no. I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to explore now. Oh, my God. Ah, yeah. oh, bear would have been parked easily. <laughs> For sure. Of course, you yeah. One. You got a share? Okay, so don't listen to me. Ooh, Beautiful. that was really good, jeez. Well, so you're just trying to miss left. No, that's perfect, yeah, you're parked. That looks good. Well, like... The bird was flipping over a little bit more. Oh, gotcha. Just a little bit more. Mm -hmm. yeah, nice, good shot. Oh, okay. That's Easy birdie. <laughs> I thought that was left and that's parked. Shows me. No, that's left. Okay. Hole 14 is 268 feet. It's a hanging basket. It's a really cool and like a grove of trees out here. The line is probably like a low backhand that kind of skips up there. That's what I've thrown in the past. There is probably other lines, forehand roller up and over the top, but I think skip shot's probably the way to go. I think it's safer to go outside if you keep being inside this body. I, mean, like I think you're wrong. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Ooh, good correction. Okay. That's, that's why you're the teacher. <laughs> well, it's even closer. Oh, wide. Yep. See? Yes. You made that There's look so easy. There's a Okay. I'm trying it. I'm doing it. Practice round. Wide? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he can do it. I can do it. <laughs> I'm better. Way better. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks wow. for the recommendation. Save that intel for tomorrow. <laughs> no, dang it. Nice, good too. I'll take it. Swinging basket. So we are on hole 15 now. Um, if you remember the basket from six, this is the one that's up on that hill, so there's lots of possible rollaways. Um, it's 735 feet, it's a par five, and you kind of have two routes. It's pretty much throw as far as you can about two times and then kind of get up and down. But if you're wanting to go flexy, you kind of have to contend with this big tree and this one bush, or you can play it out a little safer and go hyzer. However, there is OB along the right side, but it's pretty far away, so it probably won't come into play. Um, but if you get two good drives, you could have an eagle look, but most of us are gonna be trying to get birdies. Uh, not bad. It's holding. So good. Yeah. Dang. 
Oh, that felt weird. That was nose up, probably. It didn't look weird. It was down there. Yeah, that'll do. I bet you got, it's a 750 foot hole, right? Yeah. I'm just thinking, you know, to get there, I have to throw a flex, and this tree's always in the way. So I'm thinking during the tournament, I should try to be a little more right. Oh, so you can flex it more? So I can get more distance. Yeah. But, alas, not the case right now. Uh, left, left, left. Finish. Ah, nice. That Another felt putt. so noodly. Thank you. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> When's your birthday? I'll put. So, Adjusted. you get a Rive Heiser or is that too close to the basket? I don't know, just tell me. Okay, try Rive Heiser. Same Rive or the, the other one? Mm, the prettier one. Or, or, yeah, yeah. This one? Yeah, that one. Yeah, do that one. Okay. You want to do the gap or over the top? Do the gap, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Heiser, just Hi. pop it in there. Wherever it goes is totally intentional. Wait, how much time should I get? This is so sad. Yeah, I didn't get up on this tree. Yeah, with this trash can. You want it? You go for it. Well, <laughs> taking one right. for the team. Do you, think it, do you think it might have fallen already? No. That didn't look too graceful, but I'm up here. I, I think it's it's if you follow this branch right here that you're on, your left hand is on. Yeah. That one just fall goes straight out. Could you reach the end with this monopod, or is it too far still? I think way too far. Just climb down from a tree like it's no big deal, and then jam an eagle putt. Yeah, that'd be cool. As you do. <sighs> this outside? Yes. I think okay. Stay up. No. Sit. It didn't roll though. Uh, you don't think you're outside? Yeah, I think I might be a hair inside. Usually when people ask if they're out, I go, yeah, you're way out, just so their confidence goes down. <laughs> oh. Yep. Hey. hey! Player two is so much better. Always. Always. So hole 16 is 368 feet, dead straight through this gap, and then just a gentle fade over the golf green OB. Or there is like an Anheuser line that's probably a little bit safer as far as the golf green, but it does bring the OB line on the left into play. Uh, so for me, I'm just gonna go evader, kind of that straight line and let it fade. There is that tree on the right though, that like if you flip it a little bit too much, then it catches and then you're sad. So I'm gonna go evader. Oh, oh, what the heck? Beautiful. All right. Another bounty. Oh, this guy Boba Fett, the way he's hunting birdies with bounties. Oh, that sounded better in my head. That was way bad. That was awful. <laughs> that was bad. I'm just going to be real. I really did. I was going to say hunting bounties, but that doesn't make sense because, like, you have them already. Not your throw was awful. His joke was awful. Yeah, yeah. No, your throw was good. I thought of it. Woo! Did you tick that branch? I did. Uh, hmm. That was, that's some pace on it. I know. Hey. Yep. Hey, I made one. Let's go. All right, we are on hole 17. It is a, I already forgot how long it was, 404 foot par three. Um, as you see, it's like pretty tight. There's a lot of trees. You can go forehand kind of out wide. You gotta avoid that basket. Um, but you can also go straight or may maybe even do a roller, but there is an OB line that goes right. And then there is a golf green short of the basket. So you either wanna lay something up or just try to pump it down that gap and give yourself an up and down. It's a pretty tough par three, but uh, if you hit your gap and hit your lines, you should have a good look. Sheriff or Raider? Raider. Hold it. That's oh. death. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Pass the green. Oh my yeah. goodness. Okay. What a shot. Thank you. I'm trying to set the roller down. It's in by that pole that's to the left of the basket there, like really upright.
Not enough though, is it? Not enough, okay. That's a good thing people couldn't see the disc anyway, so like. Hey. Work. Last hole for the round. What? Take it off, okay. And now my hair looks goofy. Let's go, go like this No, it's fine. I've never looked goofy on the internet before. Okay. Yeah, so much better just doing that. Okay, it's very dark. Hole 18, 295 feet, last hole of the round. Um, it's just the same as kind of hole nine where there's OB on the left and the golf green and the bunker and stuff. You know the drill by now. The basket's there, you probably can't see it. It's just on the other side of the green. The play is either a forehand or an Anheuser. Um, I'm gonna go Anheuser with uh, Warden. But I already threw my other Warden, so I'm blend Warden. Okay. Oh, I thought that one would be beat up. What is that? Okay. I'm just gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna. I hope one more degree then you will be good. Perfect. Turn! That. Okay, Ooh. whatever. We are so good at this whole time. I think it's about to be. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So from hole 18, Paige is OB. I'm OB too, right? Mm. No, 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 Paige is safe. Paige is safe. You're safe. I'm safe. I'm the only one OB. I thought we were all planned on going OB on that one. Must have misread the memo, okay. Oh my gosh. Online. <laughs> Wouldn't have been able to tell if it went in or not, actually. Nope. Oh, that would have been so sick if you'd have made it, though. Ah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. There we go. How is this? Okay. Oh, cool. It's just I, I, I'm bright and everything else is just dark. Okay. Live from the abyss. Uh, thank you for watching our course preview for the course for the Abierto Coco Yolk, the biggest tournament in Mexico. Uh, the round coverage is coming soon on the Dynamic Disc channel, so make sure you stay tuned for that. For uh, for Paige Shu from Team Dynamic Discs, for Beto Gonzalez from Team Westside Discs, I'm Danny Lindahl. Thank you for watching. Hagamos crecer el deporte. Hagamos crecer el deporte. Hagamos crecer el deporte.